How important is the facial recognition? Let me explain. You said the same thing I told you. My eyes are clear, no secret. Yo guys, it's Jimmy Lee back with another video. So today I'm going to talk about something that you're probably really interested on. But I would like to tell you my opinion about the facial recognition. So as you might see, since Apple launched the iPhone 10, it's actually there are a couple things that you probably need to know before you buy it. But I'm not going to tell you about the iPhone 10, but I want to talk about more details about the face recognition or face ID that Apple used to call it. Before Apple launched the iPhone 10, I do believe that this Android smartphones has their own face recognitions, but it's not as popular as the fingerprint sensor as you might expect. A lot of smartphones launch after 2013 using a fingerprint sensor. Even the mid-range smartphones also have the fingerprint sensor. So what makes fingerprint sensors really really popular and the implementation is really really high it's because smartphone is actually personal things personal personal stuff you don't want people trying to open your phone really easy so they put really significant high technology to put your fingerprint on the sensor and that's really cool i mean the technology is really cool and really popular and after that you can see a lot of smartphones using the fingerprint sensor after the iphone 5s using that and after the iphone 10 has launched for last year there are a couple things first the android manufacturers also try to develop the similar things i'm not going to say that android smartphones try to copy the face id technology but they're trying to something different but in the similar way for example like if you know about the oneplus 5t and you can see the difference that oneplus 5t brings to the market first the 18 by 9 aspect ratio okay that's probably for another video but the second one the second feature is that oneplus 5t has really really have a huge appreciations from the customers it's about the face recognition and how fast is that that really really snappy the performance is really accurate and the question is how oneplus doing something like that similar to the apple face id first of all the technology is really different i mean if the face id has a lot of sensors on the top of the smartphones as you can see the notch on the iphone 10 and they use a lot of sensors for example like the infrared sensor, the depth sense sensor, as well as they use the front-facing camera, but the OnePlus 5T only use the front-facing camera, which means that OnePlus 5T only scan your face with front-facing camera. Similar implementations, but different technology. So I think OnePlus 5T is one of the fastest face recognitions that I have available in the market today. And the question is, how important is the face recognition and how well it stack up to replace the fingerprint sensor? So how about the face recognition in the future? Several rumors about the Samsung Galaxy S9 says that the Samsung Galaxy S9 will blend the technology between the iris scanner that they have on the Galaxy Note 7 or Galaxy Note FE and try to combine it with the front-facing camera to scan your face. It's actually similar implementation with the OnePlus 5T but with combinations with the iris scanner to scan your eyes iris scanner and the front facing camera work together to make the facial recognitions even much more clearer even much more detailed the rumor is probably going to be happen for the next Samsung Galaxy S9 or even the next uh, flagship after the S9 so the conclusion is I think facial recognition is actually one of the best options that you can get in terms of your phone security and the face recognition also means that you probably no longer need the fingerprint sensor but i think there is a really big chance for manufacturers try to combine and they offer two options the first one is the fingerprint sensor and the second one is the recognition sensor so they both come together in one phone like one plus 5t okay that's pretty much it if you have a similar opinions or different opinion about fingerprint sensor as well as the facial recognitions let me know in the comment sections below and we can discuss about that for further and don't forget to like this video if you like it and also don't forget to subscribe to the channel i probably want to share a lot of videos like this to talk about anything in terms of technology and also leave your comments down below what kind of technology that i want to share that i want to talk about on the next video thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one